Hi guys, it's Tuesday evening. I just wanted to give you an update and say hello, let you know how my ordeal with my tooth has been going. If I look swollen, it's because I feel like I've caught a bowling ball with the right side of my face. Um, I'm a little annoyed because I paid $575 out of pocket um, for what was supposed to be the extraction with general anesthesia, which means, of course, being put fully to sleep, having the tooth taken out with no, you know, recollection or feeling. I'm not really a suing type of person, but I feel like I would have a case if I wanted to go that route because that, those were my implicit instructions to everybody involved was that I wanted to be put out, put to sleep and have this thing extracted. Like the other time I went to this particular dental group, my usual doctor was not there, the oral surgeon. It was some young person whom I never heard of before. And um, he almost seemed a little annoyed that I was asking for my other doctor. And it was only because I was curious because I didn't know he was no longer in that practice. And I also figured that because they had my records, they know the way I prefer to have things done. Anyway, I went in and, um, you know, we located the tooth and he hooked me up with an IV and I felt my, myself starting to become sedated, you know, feel kind of loose. But then I realized they were starting to work on me with big needles of Novocaine and commencing with the pain of getting this large molar taken apart and taken out. And because I was in kind of a twilight, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Not a twilight sleep, but um, twilight perception. I know I was awake, but I wasn't fully cognizant as far as communicating my discomfort. But I do know that I was kind of flailing around. I kept trying to point to what was hurting. I was signaling to the lady to my left. Um, I was moaning, I was crying, it really hurt. So I wasn't fully put out. It was sedation with Novocaine and it was not fun. And I'm really pissed off because it hurt. And then, um, you know, they kind of like, I, I came completely out of it because it's short acting. And I think it only took about 10 or 15 minutes to remove this infected tooth. Um, I'll show it to you, trigger warning, that you might not like something gross, but um, as you can see, I'm now missing two teeth down there. It's very dark. It looks really gross. Um, I'm not playing with it with my tongue at all. I don't like the taste of blood and I don't like just the thought of the trauma that just occurred down there. I've already soaked through like two whole packets of gauze. So my son just went out to get me more gauze um, and I'm being careful. I'm not smoking. I can't smoke for 24 hours. I bought some soft food to have on hand and, uh, can't have anything too hot or too cold. Can't suck through a straw, but I don't really do that anyway. And um, the pain is still there, but I'm on a pain med and I'm on um, moxicillin. So I'm going to take that for 10 days. And um, they didn't give me a lot of pain meds, so it's not like it's going to be a party. <laughs> it's for a couple of days. And uh, opiates was really never my thing anyway. But I said I wasn't going to play with it. It feels weird, but my pain was at a 10 for two days and now it's like a six. And this whole area still feels really tender. It feels swollen down here, all up into my cheek, but that's just going to take some time. Hopefully I'll be uh, good to go when I go up to Plattsburgh on Friday. Um, and I'll have gauze in my mouth when I go to DMV tomorrow. And I may or may not still do my hair on Thursday. I might try to get in earlier or reschedule. So um, so that's my update to what I filled you in on last night. Or was it early this morning? I don't know. I was like crazed with pain when I did that other upload. So thanks for bearing with me. I'm glad I got it done. I'm glad I'm not going to wind up with an infected jaw, which is a dangerous proposition. Believe me, you never want to let an infected tooth go. I know that nobody likes dentists or drills or um, pain. And extraction's not the number one plan, but 
I wasn't going to re-root canal a tooth that was already root canaled and crowned. So this particular oral surgeon today didn't even mention anything about grafting or implants. So I'm also kind of annoyed about that. But we're going to just see how it heals up. Hopefully when I smile, you can't really see. I mean, my teeth are a hot mess anyway, but I'm super aware of this, you know, situation down here, which means I'm going to be doing most of my chewing on this side, which can sometimes compromise, you know, the other side. This has been your TED Talk, Tooth Talk.